Welcome to KU Libraries. We are an information hub designed to help you succeed in your academic endeavors. As a student at KU, you have access to a wide variety of services and resources, even if you aren't physically on campus. The KU Libraries have a number of databases and research guides for many different disciplines and subject areas. In this video, you will be introduced to the library's digital resources and services, what they can offer you, and how to take advantage of them, all from the comfort of your home. Working with the KU Libraries digitally is easy and incredibly useful. The libraries provide electronic access to over 110,000 full text journals in more than 400 databases, as well as ebooks, newspapers, trade publications, government information, streaming video, images, and much more. These materials are free to access for students enrolled at KU. All you have to do is log into your KU account to begin your research. The libraries are also home to KU ScholarWorks, a collection of nearly 13,000 scholarly publications and productions from KU faculty, staff, and students, as well as material from the KU archives. The library's homepage is filled with important tools that can help you improve your research and writing. From our main page, you can use the discovery tool to simultaneously search multiple KU libraries' databases, as well as the catalog. For more subject-specific information, you can follow the link to articles and databases. Here you'll find a complete list of databases provided by the libraries, presented both as an A to Z list and grouped by subjects for your convenience. Our eJournals tool is the quickest way to determine if the library offers access to a specific journal or magazine. If you're not sure what resources best suit your information needs, subject and course guides are a great place to start. Our information experts create these guides to assist both novice and advanced researchers in locating and evaluating information specific to their coursework here at KU. Simply locate the area you are researching from our list of subjects for databases, publications, and other information handpicked for researchers in your field, such as the Journal of Special Education and Rural Special Education Quarterly. For example, if you were searching for information on behavior management, you can approach your search in several ways. You can search by topic by typing your search terms into specific search databases like ERIC or PsycInfo. You can also search by journal. For behavior management, you may choose journals like the Journal of Special Education, the Journal of Emotional and Behavioral Disorders, or Teaching Exceptional Children. You might also choose to search by author. You might know that Dr. Kathleen Lane here at KU is very knowledgeable about behavior management, and you would like to search all of her work regarding it. If the source you need isn't available through KU Libraries, don't worry. The libraries offer an interlibrary loan service whereby materials are borrowed from other libraries and delivered to you either electronically or physically free of charge. To begin the interlibrary loan process, simply click the Services tab on the library's homepage, scroll down to and click on the Web Retrieve button, and enter your KU login information. The libraries also offer access to and help with citation management tools, such as Zotero and EndNote. These tools help you to keep track of articles you've read and sources you've found, making the writing and research process much easier and more efficient. Citation managers also format citations in a number of styles, including APA and MLA. The managers also integrate fully into Word, streamlining your citation process and saving you time. Wherever your research takes you, KU Libraries are here to help. Our friendly staff of experts are available year-long to help you find exactly what you need to succeed here at KU. Contact us by chat, phone, email, or text. And remember that even though many of our services and resources are available online, you are always welcome to visit us in person. If you need further information, click the Ask a Librarian button on the library's homepage for help.